In this video, we are going to be learning about set theory and Venn diagrams. So a set is basically a collection of items, and we call these items elements. A set can be finite. That just means it has a countable number of elements, or it could be infinite, meaning we can't count the number. So for instance, you've learned before about the set of integers. Integers is an infinite set. We can't possibly count the number of elements. We use curly brackets to represent sets, and you'll see here um, the curly brackets around the set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And there are a bunch of vocabulary terms related to sets, and I have filled in the definitions for each. So let's just walk through them, and then we'll look at some sample problems. All right, first up, the universal set. Okay, think of that as like the biggest set. It contains all possible elements for a particular problem, and it's noted by the letter U, U standing for universal. The empty set is a set that has no elements. The way we look at that is with a zero with a slash through it, or with curly brackets with nothing inside. The complement of a set. The complement of set A is all elements in the universal set that are not in set A. Okay, it's basically everything else. That's how you kind of want to think about it. And again, all these definitions will make more sense once we look at some sample problems in a few minutes. The intersection of sets. The intersection of sets A and B is all elements that are in both sets. It's in both A and B. Okay, kind of think about that as like where they overlap. The union of sets, when you unite things, that's a union, right? You bring them together. So the union of sets A and B is a set of elements that are in A or B. And if I just zoom out for a second here and we take a look at intersection and union, you're going to see these two the most, and there are symbols that go along with it. So I'm just going to add in here for intersection, we want to think about this as the word and and it's going to be A and B. So this is our symbol for and. The union of sets, the keyword is going to be or, and here's how we note that in set notation, A, uh, A or B. So this stands for or. The other way I think about this is the symbol here for union looks like a U, and union starts with a U. Um, and finally, a subset is a set um, that all of its elements are part of the original set. So for instance, um, the set 1, 2, 3 is a subset of the set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, it has all of the elements. You're also going to see this work with Venn diagrams. So a Venn diagram is a way to easily visualize sets. For the example below, let the universal set U be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so notice these are all of the elements in this problem. If A has the set, the set A has elements 1, 4, 6, 8, and then set B has elements 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, 10, place all elements of U in the Venn diagram. So the Venn diagram is made up of generally two circles that overlap one another. And you can see the big box around it contains a U for the universal set. Then there's a part, you'll see it noted here. These are the elements that are only in A. Over here, the elements that are only in B, and then ones that are in both. Where I like to start is the middle right there, the elements that are in sets A and B. So let's take a look at sets A and B and see if we notice that any values that are in both. So set A has one, set B does not. Set A has 4, set B does not. Set A has 6, so does set B. So notice they have these in common, and they also have an 8 in common. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put 6 and 8 in the middle of this Venn diagram, and that's basically what we call the intersection of those two sets. It's where those two circles intersect or overlap. It's the elements that are in both. What I'm also going to do before I add on some other pieces here is if I look at my original set, U, the universal set, I'm just going to cross off 6 and 8 because I have put those in the diagram now. All right, set A had two other elements. It had 1 and 4. Those are in set A but not in B. 
So I'm going to put them in set A only. Notice they're not in the overlap part. And I'm going to cross them out off in my universal set because I've taken care of those. Set B also had two, three, seven, and ten. And I'm going to cross those off in my universal set. Notice in my universal set, there are two numbers that we haven't used yet. That's the five and the nine. So I'm going to just put those outside of the actual circles. And there's my universal set. Every element is represented in the Venn diagram somewhere within it. All right, let's look at some more sample questions. Number one, if set C represents all the numbers on a die, define set C and classify it as finite or infinite. Well, a die has the numbers one through six, so we're gonna say set C is equal to, curly bracket notation, one, two, three, four, five, six. Those are all of the numbers on a die, and since I can count up those elements, we are going to call this a finite set. Number two. If U is Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and A is Sunday, what is A, and then we have this notation here, this is our notation for complement of a set. So what is the complement of A? That means what things are basically not in A. And so that means the complement of A would be Friday, and Saturday, the parts of the universal set that were not in A. Okay, for number three, we have a big question here. It says, use the following sets to list the elements of each set given in parts A through F. All right, for A, we have A union B, right? So this means A or B. Remember we talked about how that is the union symbol, which goes with the letter or the word or. So this combines and unites all of the elements of A and B. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna include all elements from sets A and B together, and I'm gonna put them in numerical order. So I have a one, two, three, I'm crossing off as I go here just to make sure I don't miss any, and I'll erase that when I get to the next problem. Five is in both. 9, 10 is in both, 12 is in both, 14, and then let's finish off set B, 16, 17, 19. So that's A union B, or we could read that as A or B. Those are the elements of A or B. All right, next we want, though, the intersection of A and B. Those are the elements that are in both sets. So we can look at this and we can see that they both have the element of five, they both have the element 10, and they both have the element 12. And so that would be A and B, or the intersection of A and B. All right, we're gonna do the same thing but with some other set combinations here. So C is asking us to unite B and C together. And if it helps you to cross off as you go, you certainly can. It's not necessary if you can follow along. So I have one, two, three, four, five, 10, 12, 16, 17, 19, when I unite sets B and C. All right, part D says unite sets A and C. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, 9, 10, 12, and 14. All right, parts E and F are both asking us for intersections, so those are values that are in both. So we're looking for E, any elements that are in sets A and C, so I can see 1 and 5 are in both of those sets. And for the last one here, we're looking for elements that are in both B and C, and that looks like 2, three, and five. Okay, so the big thing to remember there is are we working with and or or? Are we working with intersections or unions? 
All right, one last sample problem, everybody. Number four, the Venn diagram below shows the number of girls at Bayville High School who play basketball or softball. First, it says how many girls play basketball or softball. That's when we are combining all of the elements of both. So that's like us finding the sum of these values here. So that's really 21 plus 9 plus 24. Okay, I'll write out the math here. So there are 54 girls who play basketball or softball. Now it says how many girls play both basketball and softball. That's the intersection. That's this piece in the middle. That's nine. How many girls play basketball but not softball? That's this missing piece over here. That's this 21, I mean, because they're in the basketball part of the Venn diagram but not the softball part. And lastly, it asks, how many girls are there at Bayville High School? That's looking for the universal set. How many people we're looking at? That's the sum of everything. So that's 134 plus 21 plus 9 plus 24. And that's going to give us a total of 188. You can check out other videos in this playlist to learn more about probability.